Hey babes, so I wanted to pop in and welcome you to the Team Diesel and Daisy's sneak peek or behind the scenes, sometimes I change what I call it. Um, I have remade this video so many times, Just I've been a coach for almost two years now, so over time I keep remaking it. And what I usually focus on in this video when I'm telling my story is I focus on um, kind of what led to me being a coach and then kind of the I'll say material gain of being a coach is really what I focused on in the past. And I'll mention some of that here, but I wanna focus on something bigger and the bigger picture of what being a coach has done for me and how being a coach has changed my life. So um, as a very, very brief background, I, was, uh, I suffered with autoimmunity starting at age 15 um, and was also clinically diagnosed with depression, anxiety, and body dysmorphia. And it wasn't until I was actually diagnosed with my autoimmune condition, um, which was three and a half years ago now, so it's December 2016. Um, so it wasn't until I was diagnosed with autoimmunity that I started realizing I needed to handle my emotional and my physical health. And so that sent me on this path of this health journey. And some of the early baby stages of my health journey were actually doing um, at-home workouts like Jillian Michaels and some Pilates DVDs. And also, I started taking superfoods every day. I just took them in pill form because I realized that a big cause of autoimmunity is, is malnourishment and that superfoods are extremely nutrient-dense foods. So I knew I needed to add in as much good stuff as I could. So I started taking like chlorella and spirulina and goji berry and maca and all these different things um, to try to get healthy. And as I was learning all this stuff, I was um, scared for everyone. I was scared for everyone because I realized um, our environment and our current lifestyles are very conducive to the perfect storm that creates autoimmunity. So I started sharing about my journey and sharing about the different things that I was doing to help heal myself and move in the right direction. So at that same time, I found my coach and now best friend Melissa on Instagram and she was working out from home, drinking superfoods every day, talking about it on social media and making money. And I was like, wait a minute here. Like I'm literally doing all of those things but I'm not making money doing it. Like I'm just doing it because I want to help people. So how are you able to help people but also make money at this? And so she explained Beachbody to me and I immediately hopped on board with the 21 Day Fix Challenge Pack. Um, totally fell in love with everything. The, the workouts were really comparable to what I was doing. Uh, the nutrition plan was super helpful because I'd focused on adding healthy food in but I hadn't focused really on eating in the appropriate balance, you know, eating the food groups in a balanced way. And and then of course Shakeology had all the superfoods, literally every single one I was taking plus more. And it was nice, I was taking 25 pills a day at the time. So now I go from taking 25 pills a day to I'm able to just drink a yummy chocolate shake and that made me not only feel good about, you know, continuing with my superfoods, but um, it kind of released me of the burden of feeling like a sick person. Because when you take a bunch of pills, you feel like a sick person, but when you're drinking a shake, you don't think about it. So I felt more normal doing that. So it was something I, I hopped on board with right away for the business opportunity so that I could basically take what I was already doing and have a platform for doing it, for really speaking out and tools to actually help people and also put some money in my wallet because I had huge, huge medical bills and I carried horrible guilt that, you know, I was not contributing to them. I was I was causing them and then not contributing to paying them down. And so that burden was put on Anthony and I really didn't feel good about that. So I saw this as an opportunity where I was like, if I could just make like 500 bucks a month, I could help pay down the medical bills and I could help people. And so I'll just feel better about everything. So that's how I got into the business. So of course it's helped financially um, just as kind of a life update at this point in time um, we have no more medical debt left and I had uh, we've spent $35,000 out of pocket um, not including the stuff that insurance is covered so $35,000 out of pocket for medical bills we have no more medical debt um, and I make enough money now that I'm paying our mortgage we own a two-bedroom condo in Orange County California so I'm actually paying our mortgage on my beach body income which is incredible and such a huge blessing and the trajectory of my business has been I made about $5,000 my first year about 15 grand my second year and I'm looking every you know my trajectory is that I triple my income so I'm looking at 45,000 in 2017 
and then I'll be a six figure earner. So, and that is, that is realistic. Beachbody does not guarantee any level of income. It's based on your level of skill and effort, but that is what is possible in this business. So it's really nice to um, have that income, of course. I've also been sent on a free cruise through the company last year in March, Melissa, or this year, I guess, 2016, in March, um, Melissa and I went to on a cruise to Jamaica and NASA together. And then coming up here in April of 2017, I will be treating Anthony, which I never thought I would be able to do this, but I will be treating my husband to a vacation in Punta Cana. Um, so we'll be staying at the Hard Rock Hotel through the company again. Um, so I'm so excited. I never could have imagined um, after all that Anthony has given me and how he supported me through my health battles that I'd be able to give a, this huge gift to him of this amazing tropical vacation. So that's been a huge blessing. But um, aside from these kind of monetary gains, which I know is probably what interests everyone the most, but um, this has been so much more than I ever expected. Because I've been on this health journey, um, both emotional and physical, I've, I've struggled a lot and I've had a lot of pain and I've had physical, mental, I mean, it's just been a lot. It's been a lot. And so I have actually learned to be really grateful for my autoimmunity because it led me to this job. And this job for me has been completely transformative for me as a human being. So uh, the first thing that it did was I always felt squelched when I was young, when I was a teenager. I really felt like um, you know, I've always been opinionated and outspoken and I was always being told to like keep my mouth shut Like you're gonna hurt people's feelings. That's this isn't the time or the place. I was always given this message of like Keep it keep it to yourself, you know, and I struggled with that I came from a family with a lot of secrets and it just it didn't feel good to me I always felt like I was in a tug of war of like pleasing my family and doing what felt authentic and right to me. So the the one of the hugest things that coaching has done for me has been um, giving me a voice. You know, giving me not, I always wanted to have a voice, but I didn't feel like I had permission. And so I finally got this job where being myself boldly and fearlessly is an asset. And I am encouraged to have my voice and speak out and of course I care about other people's feelings. I don't aim to hurt people. You know, everything I say, I say with the intention of helping or inspiring or entertaining, but I don't fear other people's judgment. I don't fear that I, this isn't the time or the place anymore. It's always the time. It's always the place. And being myself in this business is, and just speaking out is an asset. And that has been so freeing to me and such a huge blessing. So that was one major gift that coaching has given to me. Um, I wrote a little like note so I don't forget any of my important points. Um, so another thing has been, so I'm actually a really huge introvert. And I think the reason is that um, I am an empath. So I really absorb people's emotions and people's feelings and it's hard for me to shake that off. So it's easier for me to just have a very small circle of people and that's it and I don't really let other people in. And so when I became a coach, I literally had no life. Like my life was myself, really. It, it was a very, um, I'll say self-absorbed. It wasn't because I was obsessed with myself, but it was because I was fighting this battle and all I could think about was me and this battle, right? And so I really didn't have friends at all. I didn't have a social life at all. And I really just didn't have the time or the energy with what I was going through. So when I became a coach, um, I it became my job, right, to make connections with people. Because if you're not connecting with people, how are you gonna help people, right? You need to be connecting with them in order to help them. So it became my job to use social media to connect with other like-minded women, people who like the same things that I do, not necessarily health and fitness. My tribe tends to be crazy dog ladies. So, um, and also people who love like music and AFI and are kind of like punky, sassy, gothy, like people who are holiday freaks. Like I just get to connect with people who like the shit that I like, you know? And, um, and that allowed me to have a life and build connections and build friendships. Um, but without having to sacrifice my time and my energy and my own health battle that I was going through. And so that's been really incredible. And now I have, honestly, I think I have about 2,500 people over here on Facebook in my tribe. And I have about, and then I have my like page on here, which is over a thousand. And over on Instagram, I'm approaching 7,000 people. And 
I feel so connected with them. Like there are people that I've literally made friends through this job that are now my friends in real life, including Melissa, my now best friend in the freaking world. Um, but even other people that I've, I've just connected with on social media for the sake of networking and then I just fall in love with these girls and, and we're similar and we'll meet up for lunches and we'll go to coffee and it's exactly the kind of friendships I need. It's the kind of friendships where they're not super demanding, they don't need to be calling me every day or seeing me every day, but it's like we can get together once every couple months and maintain that bond and connection and that's something I was really missing in my life at the time that I didn't even know was missing that coaching has blessed me with. Um, so another thing has been just the, like I kind of touched on this, but just the general ability to work from home because at the time we had old lady Daisy, um, we only had her for about actually like two months of me being a coach, but I, um, she had very severe health issues. I didn't want to leave her home alone all day. I had to invest a lot of time into my battle. I had to be cooking healthy. I had to be exercising. I had to be practicing stress management through prayer and through you know deep breathing and just taking moments to myself and so getting a nine to five kind of job it really didn't suit me you know I have never preferred having a boss I don't like being told what to do I'm a rebellious spirit and if people tell me what to do I'm just like fuck you and I want to do the opposite thing um, so that was one part of it that didn't work for me but also it was just like I had to invest so much time in getting healthy and and I wanted to be at home with Daisy um, and soak up all those moments with my senior dog that getting a job outside of the house seemed wrong it just wasn't it wasn't the path I was gonna take and that's why I wasn't working at the time and then this opportunity came for me to do what I was already doing and then just share about it and then make money doing that from home like it didn't interfere with my life at all it simply added to my life and so that's been a really really incredible blessing and something I never thought of I never thought of it as an option to work from home um, but it is so I'm glad I took advantage and I'm glad I didn't shy away or think it was too good to be true because it's turned out to be not only not too good to be true but more than I ever even could have expected or wanted from this um, and then the last thing I wanted to touch on was you know like I mentioned I've always had opinions I've always had things I wanted to say um, I've, I've spent a lot of years trying to find my voice and the time and the place for it and this job has really encouraged me not only to share myself and be open and be honest and say what I need to say fearlessly but to hone in on my leadership skills and my influence so it's one thing to talk to a wall and it's another thing to really figure out how to connect with people and how to lead them to a better life, how to lead them to this business opportunity, how to lead them to um, better health, how to lead them to better confidence and happiness, right? And so not only do I have a mes message that I share, but this job has really taught me and molded me to um, have actual influence over people and get to influence them to want to better themselves and better their lives and better their families and that to me that's the full circle that's the full circle moment of like why I've been through all the shit I've been through and why I'm here today as a coach offering this to you is because um, not only did I have a message but I needed to know who to share it with and who needs this message and who can I help with this message what's what's the point of this I don't want to talk just to talk I want to talk to make a difference and being a coach has helped me learn how to do that um, in a skillful way in an authentic way and in a way that gives me purpose and that's the bottom line of this job for me is I found my purpose in coaching I never would have taken on this job if I wouldn't have had this crazy journey and this crazy path and that makes me so grateful for all the bullshit that I've endured um, that it brought me here to where my heart is so full and my passion is so fiery and I get to really make a difference in the lives of people who I actually really fucking love so that's what I wanted to touch on instead of just the money or the vacations and all of that is great and you're gonna get healthier and fitter and that's all awesome but this is these are the reasons that coaching means everything to me and why 
I'm here offering this gift to you and I hope that you know um, you can say yes you can say no it's totally up to you but this is a gift being offered to you that will transform you beyond what you can even imagine right now if you let it and if you choose it so um, I hope this gives you some insight into what this job has done for me and why I share this with you guys all the time so um, anyway I hope you're enjoying your day and I look forward to chatting more